Hey, I'm Satori Phil. Welcome back to my channel. This video is a bit different from my other videos. I think you'll probably see from the title as well as this setup here. And I mean, what's right front and center is I have a bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken. So just a few disclaimers to get out of the way. This video is kind of just for fun. It's, it's just meant as entertainment. I think you can tell that it's more excessive than probably most people would do this. And honestly, this took quite a bit of time to set up. But I thought it would be interesting because I haven't really seen something like this on YouTube exactly. I have watched mukbang videos. And if you're not familiar with what that is, that's where people are eating in front of you. And you're just watching them eat and then usually they'll also talk to you or they might be cooking as well. And I'm also featuring a few items like home goods that I haven't really talked about on my channel since I normally just focus on clothes, accessories, especially shoes, and then some jewelry which you see I have on. Again, I wouldn't actually wear all this out at one time. And so just to start out quickly, I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton pajama shirt. This is from the runway, uh, the fall winter 2017. And you can't see it too well, but I'm also wearing my silk pajama pants that I got in Asia. These are from Shanghai Tang. And then I'm wearing these new Princeton slippers that I haven't revealed yet. Um, these are from Gucci. You can see a little bit of it, but I'll make another video where you can actually see all of it. And actually the most expensive pairs of shoes I've ever gotten. And jewelry-wise, I'm wearing the Tiffany T. 18 karat rose gold necklace. This is, I think, the medium width. And then for rings, I have on the Panther. I have on the Gucci B ring. The Panther's 18 karat yellow gold with peridot eyes, onyx, and lacquer. And then the Gucci B is 18 karat yellow gold. The B is in sterling silver. And then there's some gray diamonds on the wings. On my other hand, it's just um, two Bulgari B0 rings, the white gold, the two stack, and then the three stack yellow gold here, which I already have videos of, and I'm also wearing my Louis Vuitton, I think this was the Emprunt cord bracelet. So it's an 18 karat rose gold, and then the bracelet is a silk cord. And then on this hand, I am wearing my new watch that I got from my Asia haul. It's the Audemars Royal Oak 18 karat rose gold. This is in the 37 millimeter size. So that's what I have on. And then just briefly on the table I have, you can kind of see these. These are Hermes plates. This is from the Mosaic 2024, 20, the gold 24 collection, which I have a few of. This isn't all of the plates that I have but it's just the ones I'll probably be using today. And then I have a few more things you can see in the background. I haven't shown this yet, but that's the Avalon blanket. That's my Birkin, which I made a video of, which I'm using to store a few things that I'm gonna use for this video. I'll show you what this steel egg thing is in a little bit. And then I also have, before I put stuff on it, this is from Tiffany. This is a sterling silver plate. I think this has been discontinued though, but it's the Japanesque trait. You can see there's like a wavy pattern on it and I think it's really beautiful. I've featured these tables in some of my Instagram photos before. They're the Platner tables. I think they were designed in the 50s, so they're very classic. You might be able to see a little bit of the rug. It's from Jonathan Adler. It's a zebra rug. To start things off, I'm going to actually have some water. So, then this glass here is a Waterford crystal glass. It's meant for iced beverages. And then, I also have a champagne flute. This is from Swarovski. It's the one with the small crystals in the stem. This is the gold version which you could maybe see a little bit of and to kind of kick it up a notch i'm gonna be opening a bottle of dom perignon this is from the 20 2004 vintage so there it is and i am gonna actually take off my panther ring to open this because 
As excessive as this video is, I would rather not scratch that ring. And I'm gonna she put this set over here. So I'm releasing the cage right now. All right, now here comes the fun part. So there we go. So cheers to you for a great new year. I wonder if I should just stop the video and just keep drinking this, but I gotta get on to the fried chicken. So like I was saying, here is a bucket. I think this is a 10 piece, I forget. And like I was saying, I'm not going to be able to eat all of this. I am going to put a few pieces on this plate, which is also an Hermes. I think this is the dinner plate. So let's put a few pieces for now. some napkins in here, which I'm going to need. And you can't have fried chicken without some hot sauce. And what do you know, I have a baby hot sauce in my bag. I need to go get some of my sides. I just transferred some of the sides. I have mac and cheese there mashed potatoes with a little bit of gravy and then I'll just have a biscuit. Again, this is definitely a lot more food than I would eat in one sitting, even if I'm super hungry. But in the spirit of this video, I just thought I'd show you the, the whole meal. And one last thing, I think, this egg that I was talking about. This is a silverware set from Christopher. It's called The Mood. And these are silver plated. I figured this was a better presentation than the the full sterling silver set that I have from Tiffany, which is solid, but these are plated in sterling silver. So I'm just gonna take a couple of these out to use. I'm going to have a little bit more champagne as well. Here we go with the, the fried chicken. This is a drumstick, as you can see. This is the original recipe. And I don't normally have Kentucky Fried Chicken that much anymore, just because it is so fatty. But once in a while, it's nice to have. It's kind of a little treat. And the hot sauce definitely makes it a lot better. I don't eat that spicy food. Definitely helps with fried chicken to have a little bit of like ketchup or hot sauce. And 
The problem with eating fried chicken though is <clears throat> your hands are super oily. Then I have some of the mac and cheese. I think I'm gonna start sweating with the hot sauce and these lights on me. You probably saw from the reflection a little bit early in the video, I have my new three point light set up. So I have two lights on each side and then I have a light near the top as well, which helps reduce shadow and gives a much more even lighted studio effect. And this way I don't have to worry about filming with natural light or filming with just ambient light. And I forgot to mention, if you're just tuning in, like you, if you haven't followed my channel or seen any of my other videos, you're probably going to ask, why am I not showing my face? You can just kind of see maybe my mouth. And also on Instagram, I, if I am showing my face, I'm wearing sunglasses. And I actually explained this in my first ever YouTube video, which I did, I think it's almost been two years ago since um, filming this. So the main reason is I wanted to keep my video focuses on the product I'm reviewing or on the tips that I'm telling you. I realized with this video that doesn't apply as well as much. I also want to be able to detach from social media just with a sense of anonymity. And it's not like I'm doing that just to make my channel more exclusive. I, f I feel like if I didn't have that sense of wanting to disconnect, I wouldn't have an issue showing my face. But just being more of an introvert, I would say, on certain aspects, I think it's just better for me for now if I stay more or less anonymous and not show my face. And the other thing with Kentucky Fried Chicken is um, I tend to eat a lot more of the sides than I do the, the main ingredient. I'm, I'm not actually a big meat eater, even though this whole channel's or this whole video is about having Kentucky Fried Chicken. And if I'm actually going to finish all these, you're going to be sitting there watching me for like an hour. Oh, and you can see the Christmas tree in the back because I'm filming this actually right on Christmas Day and I'm going to be publishing this uh, New Year's Eve. Hence the, uh, whoa, almost dropped that. Hence the bottle of Dom over here. And if you've never tried Dom, you, I mean, it's obviously expensive compared to just regular Moe, but it, I can tell you for sure that it tastes different. It's not just the label, excuse me, or the price. It's all I can say is it's, it's smoother and it's sweeter, but not in like a sugary sweet kind of a way. It also depends on the vintage you get. It, I believe the taste does vary from year to year. This is one of the newer ones. It's the 20, 2004 vintage. And the reason why Dom does this with the vintage is they have to grow enough grapes for the entire year to, <clears throat> to make, I forget how many bottles before they're produced it. So you actually won't have a, they don't make a vintage for every single year. If it's bad weather and they don't have enough grapes, they're not going to make it for that year. And also when you read reviews of um, the Dom, the vintage really matters because each year the notes are slightly different. It just depends on the weather, the soil, and just various other environmental factors. So in terms of 2018, I definitely wanna do more 
tips videos because with unboxing it's kind of like once you've seen it it's over there's really not a lot of re replay factor to that but I find that trying to create like a tips video my tutorial tips video they have more lifespan because you can watch it more than once and it reaches a broader audience but with that being said I'm still obviously going to create my unboxing and my haul videos I think my haul videos are one of my most popular videos they're hard to sustain though I can't I can't be having a haul every single week Actually, eating fried chicken makes it hard to drink because I'm going to get all of the glasses kind of oily, but I guess I can't help it. Oh, and by the way, actually champagne goes great with fried foods. So you may hear people drinking champagne with fries. It's because the, the crispiness and the fat factor of the food complements champagne really well. Yeah, this this one is really easy to drink compared to like Moe the Imperial, which is also like maybe a quarter of the the cost of the bottle of Dom. I forgot to get corn though. I usually mix corn with my mashed potato and I know some people think that's weird. I really like that and I don't really remember why I started doing that, but that's usually how I eat mashed potato with corn mixed in. I usually don't put too much gravy in it though. I think that's just extra calories I don't need. Although that's, that's a little ironic in this video. Oh, by the way, I'm left-handed, as you can see, using my left hand. Oh, another question that a lot of people ask me is, what work, what kind of work do I do? Like, what field I'm in? Because I'm able to support this. I mean, relatively speaking, lavish lifestyle, but it's it's not like I buy uh, luxury items every day. But, so I just keep it generic and say that I'm in the software industry. So this is a biscuit so I have one piece down I'm gonna see if I can finish this thigh skin is like going everywhere and in the spirit of this video I'm, I'm talking while I'm chewing I don't do that outside at least but if I don't if I don't talk while I eat in this video then the video is just gonna be silent and that's really what mukbang videos are about I'm like talking while I'm eating Another question I get asked is, like, what are my favorite brands? And it's no surprise that 
Louis Vuitton is probably my most favorite brand, even though I've had some kind of critis criticism about them lately with the whole quality issues because I think they're expanding too fast and quality is kind of suffering. Plus, because I don't live in like New York City or LA, my local store doesn't get the a lot of the runway things. So that's tough. Like this shirt, uh, my local store doesn't carry ready to wear anymore. They used to, I think maybe over five years ago, but I wasn't really into Louis Vuitton ready to wear at that time. But they pulled it, I think, because it wasn't doing well. So it's like nearly impossible to get ready to wear, especially with my size as well, because they don't make a lot of it. This was the last one at the Paris flagship when I went in uh, this past September. So as I was talking about, like Louis Vuitton's, Louis Vuitton's definitely my top brand just because that's one of my first luxury first luxury items but it's not the first my first is actually Dior Ohm because I really just like the creative director at that time I was going through like a minimalist phase and I saved up enough money to buy a pair of um, the original jeans and I also bought I think a wallet and a pair of sunglasses this is back when I was like an undergrad I don't have the pair of jeans anymore. I sold them for a profit because they were so hard to find. I also don't have the wallet anymore because I ended up getting a different, I forget what I got. I think it was my card wallet that I use now. So I also got rid of that. So the only item I got from my like original Dior own products was the aluminum sunglasses. And they're not the ones I normally feature on my Instagram. Those are the composite, the titanium. The one I'm talking about is called the AL13. And I think I remember they're making a big deal of it because Brad Pitt was wearing them at the time. But then when, when Hedy Slimane left, I stopped following Dior Ohm for a while. It's not until like the last two years that I started getting back into them. Because I think Chris who's a new creative director now is starting to do some interesting things. I just felt like when he took it over, like I think it's almost like 10 years ago now when he took it over, he didn't do, I didn't feel like he did anything innovative. He just carried on the brand. Hedy Slimane basically single handedly created. And I'm all for special stuff, which is why I got the, so the Dan Witz, the shirt with the painting on it. It's an artist collaboration. So that's kind of why I got that one. And some of the like pins, I like lapel pins because I like tailoring and I like the accessories that go with it. I also got a couple of those lapel pins I had the black silk rose one, which was worn on the red carpet by that guy in um, Mr. Robot, who's like a spokesperson or model for Dior Ohm. And then recently I got the Heart Dior safety pin as well. So I kind of have two pieces down. And I'm thinking I'm gonna have a little bit more of the sides, a little bit more champagne, and maybe I have to call this, call this a day. My hands are like super oily. And I'm gonna have to like wash all these rings afterward cause they, you're gonna smell like fried chicken. I'm not sure I've seen mukbang videos where like half my, half their face is cut off. So and that's a little bit interesting. 
I didn't think this would work too because I thought you'd pretty much have to see like my face and as I said in the beginning of this video I don't show my face or at least not yet maybe when I get like the 100,000 subscriber where I get like one of those if they still do it like the silver play button I'll consider it but at the filming of this video I only have around 4,000 subscribers And several of you, if you're a subscriber watching this, have commented why I haven't had more subscribers. I think part of it is kind of a catch-22 because I don't show my face. I This channel lacks like a um, mascot, if you will, or like a spokesperson. So I think that's part of it. But like I said, just not ready to do that right now. Because once it's out there, it's out there. But like I said, I'm trying to reach a wider audience with more like tips videos in 2018. And I've been meaning to do like a shopping tip. So if you if you go to Paris to shop, like some tips with um, getting your tax back, what stores to visit, how to pack your stuff, going through customs and all that. So you can see I'm like, actually this is blocking it a little bit, but I'm like almost eating all the mac and cheese. I love lobster mac and cheese, even though I'm not a huge seafood person. And you may also notice in this video that I don't drink much when I'm eating. So when I order drinks, I'll drink it until the food comes and then it basically just sits there and I have to finish my food before I start drinking it. But in this case, I also have super greasy hands. So I'm like doing my best not to make these glassware too dirty, but it's impossible. Who would have thought that champagne and like greasy fast food would go together? <clears throat> I don't think I can really eat much more. But I might want a cup of coffee or espresso though. I'll have one more bite of this. I think I'm going to save this. I'll try to eat it later when I'm hungry again. All right, so I just actually went to go make myself some espresso. I have a lot of, another egg for you. And this is a, an Alessi espresso cup like a demi tasse which i have with cream and sugar in it and i wanted to show you you can probably guess what's in this egg it's a smaller version of this they are like espresso mixing spoons so So, and I did take off my rings just because I have to wash my hands and stuff. And I will be finishing this as well. Not gonna waste good champagne. Again, I'm like I'm kind of like speeding up a whole night's worth of dinner in one sitting. 
I'm going to rinse my mouth with some water. Yeah, that's pretty much my first attempt at a mukbang video. Although this is kind of meant to be just fun. Like I was saying in the beginning of this video, I'm not going to prepare this like for myself. It's it's definitely a bit excessive. This is just more kind of a fun to see to show you some of the home goods that I have. Um, like I have a few Tiffany things. This is just one of the one of the plates, which is in solid sterling silver. Some Swarovski stemware. Some Christopher flatware or silverware. These are the plate at the mood, and then the mini mood, which is the espresso spoons. These are the Hermes mosaic plates. This is the, they make a platinum version as well, so this is the gold version. And this is just a subset of the ones I have. This is just a little demi tasse from Alessi with the saucer. This is a iced beverage cup, it's a crystal cup from Waterford. And yeah, that's like all of the home goods pretty much feature. Oh, and the, the blanket, the Avalon blanket, which I have my bag here. It's kind of using as like a fake picnic bag of sorts. I would say it's not a really good idea to carry champagne in that because when you chill champagne, you have condensation on the sides and you don't want that to be getting your your Birkin bag wet. I'm gonna put some of this away so I can eat it later. Like I said, I don't wanna waste this. That is my video. If you have any comments, you're welcome to share it. Like I said, this is this isn't like a regular video where I'm trying to show off that this is how I eat every day, because that's definitely not the case. But I just thought it'd be a fun video, might be entertaining for you. I I actually personally like watching Mukbang videos for some reason that just kind of relaxes you. And maybe I also feel like I'm watching them people eat and I don't have to eat myself, so it's kind of like I can I can binge without having to actually eat. Because like I said, I mean this is a lot of calories and I don't want to have to buy new clothes <laughs> after eating so much of this especially with expensive clothes that I get tailored to it's gonna to be tough to get rid of like my collection because I went up a few sizes so I try to watch what I eat as much as possible this is kind of a splurge and if you haven't already I do check out my Instagram page. I post a lot more updates there. I usually post at least one picture a day, if not two. There are more stuff that I may not make a video of or it shows you what I'm gonna have posted later. And then I have some stories as well, just if you want to get to know like my everyday life a little bit better. I try to do outfit of the day videos, which is hard to do for YouTube because I'd have to make a collage and assemble them. And right now I just have some still photos. I don't have like videos of outfit of the day that I can stitch together. So if you made it through the end of this video, congrats. I know this video is going to be kind of long. I am going to have to edit it as you'll see, but for the most part, I wanted to keep it kind of a stream of consciousness video, true to like the mukbang nature. It's almost like a, a webcast of sorts. I'm just trying to finish this and then I'm gonna put this back. I'm gonna see how much more I can drink today, but I'm gonna foil it up and then put it in the fridge and I'll probably have it for tomorrow too, or maybe I'll just drink it for dessert tonight. So cheers. I hope you have a great New Year's. I hope you'll continue to find my videos entertaining and useful. 
So thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video.